Christmas, I can see snow through my window, so why don't we do something that has nothing to do with Christmas? Yeah, let's start this tradition of making Christmas specials everywhere. Let's take the specials in Sin TV, for example. The Home Alone movies are annoying as hell. It's the exact same movie ever since it was released. You know what we're talking about, don't you? Yeah, let's stop the special and let's play Little Nemo for the NES. Little Nemo, the Dream Master, was released September 1994 in NES, and it is based on Little Nemo, Adventures in Slumberland movie, which was released July 15, 1989 in Japan, and released August 24, 1992 in the US. The Little Nemo movie was based on Little Nemo comic strip created by Winston McCain that appeared in the New York Herald and William Randolph Hart's New York American newspaper from October 15, 1905, through April 23, 1911, and April 30, 1911, through July 26, 1914, respectively. The game takes place in 1905, the same year the comic strip first appeared. Well, but since the game takes place in Evil's Dreams, it could take place in 2000 or even 2010. Uh, I don't think so. When the game starts, you're going to talk to a frog called Flip, and he's going to say that you have to collect keys in the level, to open a door and beat this level. And he's also going to say that you have to defend can some enemies so you can use their powers. But there are certain enemies that you have to defend because if you can defend into a regular enemy, they can rule just none. It seems pretty easy, but trust me, it isn't. This game is very hard and unpredictable because the enemies appear wherever they want and whenever they want. So you have to pay attention to everything this way and be careful not to get killed. In the first level, there are huge mushrooms, but Nemo doesn't want to be those mushrooms. Maybe he doesn't want to grow up. You find the first enemy you can give candy to. It's a frog and it can jump very high. To use its power to give it three candy and it's going to fall asleep. With the high jump skill, you will be able to collect all the keys on the level. When you find a hole, press a large laser frog and give candy to the hole so you can use its speeding power. Third around, you will find a key. Go to the left side of the area and go down. You see something that looks like Saturn death, but, but it isn't. When you enter this place, you, you will find a lizard and a first aid key. Very useful, but trust me, lives are not important in this game since you have infinite continues. I think this is basically the same thing as Street Fighter 2010 Final Fight. Because in Street Fighter 2010, you also have infinite continues. Anyway, get the remaining keys in the level and head to the door to the level. When you hit the level, Nemo's mother is going, is going to wake him up. Yeah, wake up Nemo, you have to go to school. It actually reminds me of waking up every day 7am to go to school. Yeah, good old times. Now I have to wake up every day 7am to go working. Level 2, or should I say, Dream 2. In this level, there are birds throwing their own eggs at you, snakes hidden under the ground, gorillas that look like Donkey Kong, I don't think so. bees that can fly too much, and trees that reach the sky. In the beginning of the level, jump in the river and go down. There you find this weird thing. It says that you will need the lizard health to make it through the whole level. Hey Nemo, stop climbing the tree because if you go too far, you are going to die. Man, you are reaching the atmosphere of the earth. That's... that's weird. When you reach the top of the tree, you will find a key and a lizard. Give candy to the lizard, get the key, and jump from the tree to avoid annoying enemies. Don't worry, you are not going to die. Now, go to a very small space and enter it. But you can only enter it when you are using the lizard. There you find a bee. Now press the select button to leave the lizard, and give candy to the bee so you can fly. 
Now fly up and get the keys, but be fast on the A button, because the bee is going to get tired of flying and it's going to fall if you don't act fast enough, and you will fall to death. Now head to the door and beat the level. Now the third level is the house of toys. In this level you find three keys right in the beginning of the level. Get them and jump over the train. The, the train will start rolling and you see some kamikaze and some balloons dropping bombs at you. Try not to get hit because health is very important in this level. There's a place on this level that you'll see a first aid kit and an extra life. Try to get those items. When you get those items, you see spiked ropes and walls where it seems you can go through, but, but you can't. Press down and Nemo will crush. On the other side of this wall, you see an enemy that looks like a squirrel. Get next to the squirrel and it will fly towards you. Try to avoid getting hit by jumping. When you avoid the squirrels, you see more three keys. Get the keys and avoid getting hit by a kamikaze. When you avoid the kamikaze, you see a completely spiked roof that will fall over you. If you get hit, you die instantly. Press down to avoid getting hit by the spiked roof. But be careful because there are parts that you will have to run from the spiked roof because there is no space to crush. When the spiked roof ends, you see another first aid kit. Get it, try to avoid getting killed and enter the door to go to the next level. Dream 4 Night Sea In this level there are hermit crabs, fishes wearing boxing gloves but they can't punch, and flying fishes. I mean just look at that. When the level starts, you see a king in the sea, jump and get it, then you see a hermit crab. If you can do to it, and you will be able to walk underwater and dig. When you see a sunken ship, go next to it and jump. Now you can dig on the sand. Go down and you see a thing that looks like certain death, but it isn't. Keep going down and you see an extra life and a tree. Get the extra life and... Wait, why there's a tree under the sea? Why? Get next to the tree and kill it by pressing the B button. Now you can get the extra life. Leave this area by heading right and press select to leave the crab. Now you see a fish wearing boxing gloves. Give a candy to the fish and you'll be able to swim faster. But I don't know why the fish can't punch. It seems the boxing gloves are completely useless. Okay, this fish has boxing gloves but it can't punch? Why? Well, it seems the fish hasn't learned how to punch. I'm gonna teach the fish how to punch. Head left and you will see a frog. Press left to leave the fish and give it candy to the frog. Now you can see a key but the key is in a small corridor and there are spikes to the roof. Press A quickly to jump low. Now you can get the key. Now head back to the lower corridor and you see something that looks like a dead end. Walk towards the dead end and you will be warped to a place where they, there is a key. Get a key and leave this place. But be careful because, because there are fishes shooting at you. So you have to be very fast and be careful not to get hit. And here's the key. Now keep heading right and you see a hermit crab. Press left to leave the frog and give candy to the hermit crab so you can dig your way to the final key in this level. Now press select to leave the hermit crab and jump to the island. You will see a door. Now you can head to the next level. Dream 5 Nemo's House When the level begins a thing that looks like a dog will talk to you and it is going to say that it seems you are in your house. Well really, I mean the name of the dream is Nemo's House. In this level there are giant staircases turtles dropping turtle shells and monkeys throwing plates. This is the most annoying level of the game because you have to get the mouse on the rooftops and avoid incredibly annoying turtle shells. Well, the mouse is useful because it can break certain walls but its jump is kind of annoying. 
the walls you have to break is on the roof so if you fall you have to leave the mouse get a big good and go to the roof again to, be, to get the mouse with the hammer the mouse gives you you can kill certain enemies and kill those annoying turtle shells when you reach the wall break it and you see a monkey throwing plates and next to it there's a key go down get a P and get the key now go down again and head right you see a bed and there's a door over it I've never seen a door in my bed. Now enter the door and you will beat the level. Or should I say, beat the dream. Yeah, I've beaten the level, I mean. Yeah, I've beaten the dream. Dream 6. Cloud Ruins. In this level they are both throwing their own eggs, again, and some killing spores. I don't know why spores would kill a human. Are the spores making you get blind so you die just by getting blind? Or is this game unforgivably hard? I think it's because the game is unforgivably hard. That's a reason. In this level there's this annoying part that you have to reach the clouds in the bee. But the screen keeps going up and the bee gets tired of flying so you have to land and fly very fast or else you die. Well, I've had it enough. This is a cool game, but unforgivable. I mean, the graphics look good, the music is good, and the gameplay feels good. But uh, it's unforgivably hard! Yeah, the game has good graphics, music, and gameplay. But it should sleep forever. Yeah.